In the 1990s, tourism became a $4.9 billion industry in Connecticut and one of the state's economic mainstays. Many of these new visitors came seeking to experience Connecticut's rich history, and Connecticut cities quickly saw in cultural heritage tourism another opportunity for economic growth. Connecticut cities have unlimited potential as heritage destinations because their histories are so rich and their resources are usually so varied and interesting. People like to visit great cities, and if we packaged and presented ourselves well, there's no question that Connecticut cities would prosper and would generate not only tourist dollars, but I think a greater sense of pride and interest on the part of other residents uh, of the region and state. I think that cultural heritage tourism helps the community in a number of ways. It injects an element of pride in the local audience. That is to say that they too come to recognize, perhaps for the first time, but certainly better than before, what it is that is unique about their community, the things that they should take pride in and to help celebrate, and in the end come to understand better themselves. And I think by extension that gives them a greater sense of pride in where they live in general. The Mark Twain House, every year, welcomes about 55,000 people for the basic tour of the house. There's an American history. Our visitors, about 70% of them come from outside of the greater Hertford area, and last year we had visitors from over 70 different nations. The Twain House did an economic impact survey, and at that time we recognized that we have a direct and indirect impact upon the local economy to the tune of about seven to $10 million. And I think that a smart and strong exploitation of the assets that cities already have can lead to great economic regeneration, especially in downtowns and old main strips, and can provide jobs, uh, ancillary uh, financial impact, and very often very strong impact on local restaurants and shops nearby, and to create destinations that are truly unique. The arts have also emerged as a force for reinventing Connecticut cities. Bridgeport is just a perfect place for an arts-based project. Uh, this building is ideally located in the center of downtown to be a catalyst for further urban revitalization. And this will be a, a, a thriving community of 63 uh, artists and their families uh, with a large public gallery, a retail space on the ground floor, and an arts education center on the lower level. Many of the cities in the industrial northeast are really um, places that have tremendous infrastructure. They have fantastic buildings. Some of them absolutely magnificently beautiful, like Willimantic, which has uh, great stone mills. And what has begun to happen in towns is that artists and other people have begun to say, maybe these places could be used. We're very excited. In our building we have a small cultural arts center which will, on the ground floor we have a gallery. On the second floor we have renovated or we've built with the help of volunteers five different studios um, with five different artists who are renting there where they can do their work. 